My name is Kendall Simmons. I was raised in North Mississippi. I uh, had an opportunity to go play in the NFL for eight years. Won two Super Bowls with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Once I retired, I had an opportunity to become a diabetes ambassador. Now I have an opportunity to come back and coach and mentor kids. I found out that I had type 1 diabetes in July of 2003. Uh, lost 45 pounds in two and a half weeks. I was hospitalized. My blood sugars were close to 1100. Lost my vision. I thought my career was over with at that time. And at that age, I think most of us, especially when you're a professional athlete, you feel like you're invincible to a degree. Uh, and it shows you how human you are and, and start having to put things in perspective. Every game, I had to check my blood sugar at least eight or nine times. I'd come off to the sideline and have two trainers testing my blood sugars on my forearm just to tell me what my blood sugars were as my O-line coach is fixing the play that we just went over out on the field. They'd call the play out, and if my blood sugar was too high, I would forget what the play was by the time I got to the line of scrimmage. I had been asked to come and be the keynote speaker at a JDRF gala. I was walking around, I was looking at all the booths, and I saw the Expression Med stickers. And I met the young lady that was the founder, and she was so energetic. And I told her, I was like, I think this is one of the coolest things in the world, because I had never seen it before. It was a way to express yourself, bring, positive, bring a positive nature to it. You can wear it during your season, whatever season's going on. Uh, also, it helps hold my CGM on a little bit longer. I sweat really bad. <laughs> it, it just helps keep it secure to my arm. It moves with the body and that extra adhesive and stuff helps keep it in place. I would definitely recommend it. I try to show and tell as many people as I can when I have opportunity to go out and speak to kids at diabetes camps and stuff, I show it to them. The one thing that I tell kids when it comes to living with diabetes, you can manage it. You have to make it conform to your lifestyle. You can do anything you want, but find a way or another to make diabetes fit into what you do.